Welcome to In Case You Missed It, or ICYMI, where we share announcements and cool stuff that may have flown under the radar for OutSystems developers everywhere. Let's jump into the updates for March 2021 with a blog post by Ricardo Costa on asynchronous versus synchronous programming, when to use what. In this blog post, you'll learn about asynchronous and synchronous programming patterns, the advantages and disadvantages of each, and when to use asynchronous programming patterns in the OutSystems platform. You'll find a link to the blog post in the description below. Next up, let's take a look at some product updates. You can keep up with what's new in OutSystems by going to outsystems.com slash what's new. We'll put a link in the description below. This month, I'd like to highlight two new releases. One is the an update to the case management framework, which includes new search APIs and new actions that make it easier than ever to find and filter to find the cases that you're looking for. Also, I'd like to highlight the new edit data feature released for Service Studio, which allows you to open your data entities, view their data, and edit it just as simply as you would inside an Excel spreadsheet. One of the things that's cool about the OutSystems platform is the ability to integrate with external databases and services. One of these is MongoDB, and I've done a couple of videos in the past on integrating with MongoDB. Not everybody learns well by video. Some people like the written word a little better. So I want to highlight a blog post by my colleague, Rui Barbosa, who's written a tutorial for using the MongoDB connector from the Forge. We'll include a link to the tutorial below. I am a self-confessed gadget geek, so anything that's got blinky lights or IoT, Raspberry Pi or Arduino or anything like that in it kind of gets to me. So. I was really happy to see one of our MVPs, Craig St. Jean, come out with a video series on YouTube using short five minute videos to show how to integrate home automation with OutSystems. In the first video, he builds web services to control a Raspberry Pi and use that to switch on or off a light. In the second video, he builds an OutSystems mobile application to control those services. And in the third application, he throws some timers into the mix. This is a great way to take some bite-sized videos and learn more about the OutSystems platform. We'll include links to the videos in the description below. Next up, I wanna highlight a new training course available called Modeling Business Processes. If you're looking at the different ways of doing business processes in the OutSystems platform, like Workflow Builder or Case Management Framework, or the Business Process Technology, inside Service Studio itself. You might be a little confused about when to use which. Well, this course is for you then. It's a relatively brief course, but you'll come out of it with the knowledge of when to use which of these technologies and how to model business process as well inside the OutSystems platform. We'll include a link to the course in the description below. Next, I'd like to hand things over to Kat Martinez for a new segment in ICYMI, where we're featuring a community member who's had some great contributions this month. Kat, it's all yours. Thank you so much, Andrew. And for this segment, I'm honored to be highlighting one of our very own OutSystems community members named Shamiksha Manikar. Shamiksha started off her OutSystems journey over two and a half years ago and has been wearing multiple hats since then, such as developer, mentor, and teacher. As of these past couple months, she's actually been giving back to her local community and training and teaching young students about the OutSystems platform. She's also been going above and beyond by mentoring some of those same students and guiding them towards a career path in IT once they're done with school. She's also been featured in our Women's History Month and also recently received a promotion to Senior Software Engineer at Persistent Systems. Samiksha, awesome job for everything you're doing for our community and inspiring the next generation of developers. I'll now kick it over to Chris to share with you all the latest board components you may have missed in the month of March. Hello everyone, here I am again to give you a roundup of Forge components in this month of March. So good news, first of all, because we have more trusted components for you, which means that they went through a curation process that ensures that security and best practices are in place so you can trust those components to use them in production. So let's start. First, we have a group of several Google service components. So this is not one trusted component, but a group of them that encapsulate Google services in order for you to use in your applications. Make sure that you install this via Service Studio to ensure that you install all the dependencies and you have a working component right out of the bat. So what can you get from this one? You can get Google Authentication, Google Drive, Google Sheets, and Google calendar. Yeah, that's it. Make sure to take a look at this one. Next, we have XML records, and this is a fairly known component in our OutSystems community, but this time it got the trusted badge. 
So good news. Uh, and for the ones that don't know, this component kind of mimics the platform behavior for JSON, where you can pass paste JSON and then you have out system structures and vice versa. The XML records, it requires a little bit more effort, but it's the same thing. So with XML, if you have an XML and you want to convert into out system structures, you can do that. and vice versa. So that's really cool thing. Next, we have exception handling extended, which is a module that you can use in your applications because it typifies exceptions in out systems. So you know that sometimes it can be pretty hard to handle all the exceptions that you created. And this is a good application that can help you understand how you can typify your exceptions and handle them. For example, if you throw an exception in a core service, you can handle them in a business logic module very easily without too many effort and trying to figure it out where the exception was actually thrown. Make sure to take a look at it. Even if the exceptions there don't help you, you can always take a look on how the owner did this and uh, do the same for your use case. And just to finish this, I wanted to give a quick shout out to the community member that did a game without systems, a turn-based game. It's called Outmon, like out systems monsters. Even though out systems is not built for game building, it's also cool to have some fun with it. So make sure to take a look. You can also learn uh, pretty cool things in the front end side. Um, and for example, if you want to know how to use Firebase, you can have a good example here, even though this is in the context of a game. So yeah, quick shout out. Thank you for having some fun with out systems and sharing it with the community. And these are all the things that you might have missed in March. Yes, I'm the one saying goodbye today. Make sure that you click some buttons to keep updated with the new content. See you in the next one.